Good afternoon, tubers. Matt M. Roy back again. Back to you with the first vlog since I've been home. That's right. Uh, I got home uh, basically two days ago, and you guys are probably wondering, Matt, why the heck haven't you put a video up? Well, suffering from a bit of jet lag. <laughs> I kid you not, I have been sleeping like on and off all day long for the past couple of days. The jet lag, it's interesting, didn't hit me going west, but going east, it's much worse because you actually lose three hours of sleep that way. So just kind of suffering with that and uh, trying to catch up on everything, mail, messages, uh, things that I needed to do before I left that I never got to. So <laughs> yeah, right. But I wanted to tell you guys something really cool that uh, happened to me uh, just a few minutes ago. I decided to uh, go down to the uh, Hope House thrift store, which is uh, the one over in Norfolk. Um, it's right near Dumars, for those of you that um, know the area. And I went over there this morning because I was looking to get some monitors. I need trying to stock back up on uh, computers and monitors and pretty much all components. So. I went over there and uh, I saw, I was a little disappointed, I saw that they uh, had only a few monitors out. The main reason I went over today is because on Fridays there is their 25% off day for electronics, computers, pretty much anything, electronics, computers, and appliances. So I got over there, I didn't see much, and off, on the off chance I said, you know what, let me go ahead and, and ask the lady there if the... Um, computer supervisor, the one that does the electronics, and sure enough, he was. I said, look, I'm interested in buying uh, monitors from you guys. Do you have anything in the back that uh, you haven't put out yet? And he's like, oh, yeah, we've got tons of stuff back there. We haven't even gone through them yet. So I said, all right, well, I I'm really interested in buying them. Would you mind looking through them and seeing if there's anything you want to sell me now? He's like, yeah, sure. Do you have some time? So I said, yeah, I'll hold off. I'll wait a few minutes. So I sat down, kind of read a New Yorker that they had laying up there and waited about, I'd say about a half an hour, which I knew would take a while, because he and I could see them back and, going back and forth with all these uh, monitors. And about halfway through, I noticed that he brought a, uh, a Dell Optiplex uh, over and to test it with. And I said, hmm, that looks like a nice Dell. And, he, and uh, I said, you know, let me ask him about that. So next time he came out, I said, hey, I'm also interested in buying uh, computer towers. Do you have anything like that? And he's like, oh, yeah, we got tons of those sitting in the back. We just haven't gotten to them. And he's like, um, but the only problem is they don't have any hard drives. And I'm like, well, what are they? He's like, well, they're Dell Optiplex, uh, and they're mostly Core i5s and i7s. And I'm like, Core i5s and i7s? You know, I was a lot more discreet than that, but that's what I was thinking inside. And um, I said, you know, I'm interested in those, even if they don't have hard drives. I mean, that's no big deal for me. They, he said that they had the product keys in and they had like eight gigs of RAM, each of them. So I said, you know what? Um, price the monitors, price the computers, and we'll see if we can make a deal. So about 10 minutes later, he brings the whole lot out on a, uh, on a cart. And I'm looking at these and they're decent systems. Uh, two of them are i5, two i7s. I don't know what generations they are, but they, hey, they're i5s and i7s, right? <laughs> um, each has eight gigs of RAM. They all have dedicated graphics cards. The only thing they don't have are the hard drives. And I'm like, well, that's no big deal because I, you know, I have hard drives laying around. I can throw some hard drives in there and I get them on eBay all the time. So I said, look, let, let's see if we can make a deal for the whole lot. And I'm talking about the four computers, and I think there was about eight monitors, everything's sitting back there right now. So he works it out on the pad. He's like, well, I'm going to have to give, charge you at least 60 apiece for the Core i5s and 80 apiece for the i7s. And I'm like, well, that's that seems a little steep and because they, they're missing the hard drive. So I bargained him down. He's like, okay, I'll do 60 apiece on the Core uh, i7s and 40 apiece on the uh, Core i5s. And on top of that, they also gave me an additional 10% off the entire sale. So he fix, figures everything in his head. I got the whole lot, I kid you not, for about $250. That's four uh, Dell Optiplexes minus the hard drives, two Core i5s, two Core i7s, and a whole bunch of monitors. So I can't tell you, I am really stoked right now. I have gotten better deals than that in the past, to be perfectly honest. And, you know, it's always nice to get things as cheaply as possible. But I feel good because I got a good deal on these. I'll be able to make my money back on these computers. And more importantly, the thrift stores had a big sale for the day. 
This is one of the local thrift stores that I don't get to as often as I'd like to because it's across the tunnel. And uh, they have struggled in the past, and now they're getting all these computers. And I said to them, look, I'm willing to pay up a little bit this time, so you'll, we'll go ahead and stay friends. And that's what you guys got to do. If you guys are in the buying and selling game like I am, you, you need to make friends. And you got to realize that you're not always going to get the absolute best deal every time. Sometimes it's more important to uh, make a friend and maybe pay up a little bit. So I am really, really happy with that. I think that I got a good enough deal to where I'm gonna make some money and he got a good deal to where the store is actually going to hopefully make a good profit for the day. I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video right now. When I get home, I will show you uh, what I got just really quickly. Um, I don't think I'm gonna have time to do any in-depth um, like rebuild videos on these, but what I will try to do is take one of the systems and just kind of go through it and show you guys uh, what these are like. So I'm going to pause the video and I'll talk to you guys in a little All bit. All right, tubers. Well, I'm back home. I guess I'll start with the monitors. Most of the monitors I got are these 19-inch uh, Dell um, 4x3 aspect ratio ones. They're decent. One of them is actually a 17-inch. I just noticed that, but that's fine. I can pair them up with other ones. So I got Two 19 inches up there, 19 inches, 19, 19, and then one 17 inch. So when I'm giving about $8 a piece for these, so not a bad deal at all. Good quality monitors. They last a long, now, long time. Now turning back to the trunk, I did have one more monitor here, so I have a total of eight monitors. And then here is the pièce de résistance. These are the Dell Optiplexes that I got. Two of them are i5s, two are i7s. Their models, uh, 1720 and 1710, respectively. Uh, the i5s are the 720s, and the 710s are the i7s. Kind of uh, backwards to what you would think, but and these are nice systems in, in decent shape. All have DVD burners, uh, four USB ports on the front, and they are two of each are um, USB 3.0s. You can see right there, they're marked as uh, super speed ports. So, all in all, not a bad score for today. Well, I need to go ahead and put all the stuff in the house. It's sitting at about 80 degrees right now, so I'm going to pace myself. We'll see what the rest day brings, and I'll talk to you guys what a you little want bit later. That? Huh? I'm going to show everybody on YouTube how friendly you've been since I got home. Even more so. Come on, bud. Do your thing. Come on. Come on. Check this out, guys. Look how tall he's getting. Come on. Up, up. Good boy. Up, up. Stretch. Come on. Stretch over the counter. Come on. Come on. Stretch, stretch, stretch. He can usually stretch right up on the counter. He's just not going to do it because he, I want him to. <laughs> but he's doing really well. Getting even bigger. You can hear that purr. Yeah? Everybody likes Baxter. Getting much bigger now, since even since I got left. Come on. Stretch all the way up. Come on. All the way up. Come on. Come on. Up, up. Now, he won't do it because I have the camera on him. But I think what he wants, and I've been giving him a lot of these lately, are the greenies, the one that LT like. This is the catnip flavor, and he seems to absolutely right, Baxter, love these. You ready these. for your greenies? Here. Get a whole bunch of those for you. <laughs> Go to town on that Baxter. So just to show you guys, he is doing very well. No problems with Baxter. Definitely think about getting him a playmate though, because he misses LT something All terrible. All right, tubers. So I'm back home. Thought we'd take a quick look at one of these fine Dell Optiplex computers that I picked up today. This happens to be the Core i5 model, and there are definitely some interesting features to be talked about on these particular systems. Go ahead and start with the easiest. Power buttons here at the top left, kind of an interesting placement, but it works, I guess. Optiplex 720. Once again, they all have these DVD burner drives. Uh, not sure if they're dual layer. Actually, I don't. I know they're not. They're single layer DVD burner drives. Front here, you got microphone, headphone, four USB ports, two of which are USB 2.0, the other two are USB 3.0. These are the 3.0s, and those are the 2.0s. And not much else to see on the front here. We got a nice kind of serrated metal grill uh, with the Dell logo right there. And then down there you can see Intel Core i5. Now, I believe these are newer than the i7s. The i7s have Windows 7 stickers. These, I believe, had Windows 8 on them originally. Let's go ahead and turn to the back, and I'll show you a few interesting features of these particular systems. 
Turning to the back of this computer, there are definitely some uh, interesting things to talk about. Up here is your regular power supply. I'm not sure of the wattage. I'll have to go ahead and check that later. There's the express service code information and the service tag. This has my two favorite things. It actually has working PS2 ports, keyboard and mouse, so I can actually use PS2 keyboards and mice with this. We have two USB 2.0 ports here, uh, Ethernet, and then here's where it kind of gets interesting. As you can see right here, it has two uh, display ports on it, which is kind of weird, which shows me that originally this computer was designed for a dual monitor setup, but using display port only. Usually I see one display port and a DVI, or maybe two display ports and a DVI, but never just two display ports and then a VGA. I just kind of found that an interesting setup. Then down here we have two more super speed or USB 3.0 ports, two more USB 2.0 ports, <laughs> a legacy serial port. Obviously, whoever owned this, maybe they had some type of uh, serial device like a printer or maybe um, one of those wand scanners, probably why they ordered it with this. And then your audio ports, audio out, audio in, or audio out, or, yeah. <laughs> yeah, audio out, audio in. Very, very basic, but again, being a business class system, I'm not that surprised. Now, these computers did come with dedicated graphics cards. They are ATI cards. They're probably the six or 7,000 series uh, Radeon HDs. As you can see, this one has a uh, DVI, D port and another display port. So theoretically, I could take this out and just use the integrated graphics, but since this has a dedicated card in it already, probably just go ahead and stick with the card that, had, that it has um, added in. So once again, very interesting uh, array of ports on here, not what you would find on, say, a consumer-grade computer. All right, coming inside to this PC, um, pretty much what you would expect. The uh, hard drives sit down here. I have not put hard drives in this one yet, but this one accepts up to three hard drives. You have two down here and then one up here. Um, if you look on here, though, the only problem you would have with that is they are actually only, I believe... Oh, no, I'm wrong. I take that back. There are actually four SATA ports. There are two here and then two on top. So you theoretically could have up to four SATA devices. So you could have two hard drives here. Uh, one up here and then optical drive or you could do two hard drives and two optical drives so a decent amount of SATA ports again very uh, reminiscent of a business class system which this actually is uh, there's your PCI Express slot with the ATI Radeon HD card you have another PCI Express slot in the bottom both these are X16s looks like you have a PCI Express X1 slot there and then just a standard 32-bit uh, uh, PCI slot. So definitely good expandability in here. Uh, let's see what we got here. Looks like there is a 80 millimeter fan back here, and then just a regular heatsink and CPU fan. They are both spinning freely, which is nice. Means I won't have to replace those. Memory. This takes up to. 32 gigabytes of PC3 or DDR3 RAM. Right now, this particular one has 8 gigabytes of RAM. I may upgrade that in the future. I may not. I'll have to see what uh, parts I actually have lying around. And last but not least, let's go ahead and take a look at the power supply, see if I can actually get a um, rating on this one. Do, 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 do. Max output, 290 watts. So let's say it's, a, it's basically a 300 watt power supply. Once again, good enough for the video card it's driving in here. If you were to upgrade this to something like a GeForce, like a GTX series, then I would definitely um, upgrade the power supply. So I must say so far, I am fairly impressed with these computers. I'm actually going to get to work on them right now. I have one sitting right over there, which is the other i5. That one I have completed. Uh, it's got all the parts in there. I just need to load the operating system. This one I still need to re build so what a cool find and i will talk to you guys a little right, bit tubers, later well that's it for today's vlog please remember to like and subscribe remember the 5,000 subscriber giveaway is still going on i am inching up there slowly but if you guys click the subscribe button remember you can get a 50 dollars gift card when i hit 5,000 subscribers please remember to like and subscribe and as always have a blessed day everybody